In science and engineering, the parts per notation is a set of pseudo-units to describe small values of miscellaneous dimensionless quantities, e.g. mole fraction or mass fraction. Since these fractions are quantity per quantity measures, they are pure numbers with no associated units of measurement. Commonly used are ppm parts per million 10-6 ppb parts per billion 10-9 ppt parts per trillion 10-12 and ppq parts per quadrillion 10-15 This notation is not part of the SI system and its meaning is ambiguous Topic <inaudible> overview <inaudible> Parts per notation is often used describing dilute solutions in chemistry, for instance, the relative abundance of dissolved minerals or pollutants in water. The quantity 1 ppm can be used for a mass fraction if a water-borne pollutant is present at one millionth of a gram per gram of sample solution. When working with aqueous solutions, it is common to assume that the density of water is 1.00 grams per milliliter. Therefore, it is common to equate 1 kilogram of water with 1 liter of water. Consequently, 1 ppm corresponds to 1 mg per liter and 1 ppb corresponds to 1 microgram per liter. Similarly, parts per notation is used also in physics and engineering to express the value of various proportional phenomena. For instance, a special metal alloy might expand 1.2 micrometers per meter of length for every degree Celsius and this would be expressed as alpha. Topic 1.2 ppm per degree Celsius, parts per notation is also employed to denote the change, stability, or uncertainty in measurements. For instance, the accuracy of land survey distance measurements when using a laser rangefinder might be 1 mm per kilometer of distance, this could be expressed as accuracy. 1 ppm, parts per notations are all dimensionless quantities. In mathematical expressions, the units of measurement always cancel. In fractions like 2 nm per meter, 2 nm per meter. <laughs> 2 nano 2 times 10 minus 9. 2 ppb 2 times 0 0.00000000001 so the quotients are pure number coefficients with positive values less than 1 when parts per notations including the percent symbol percent are used in regular prose as opposed to mathematical expressions they are still pure number dimensionless quantities However, they generally take the literal parts per meaning of a comparative ratio e.g. 2 ppb would generally be interpreted as 2 parts in a billion parts. Parts per notations may be expressed in terms of any unit of the same measure. For instance, the coefficient of thermal expansion of a certain brass alloy alpha. topic 18.7 ppm per degree Celsius may be expressed as 18.7 micrometer per meter per degree Celsius or as 18.7 micro in in per degree Celsius the numeric value representing a relative proportion does not change with the adoption of a different unit of measure Similarly, a metering pump that injects a trace chemical into the main process line at the proportional flow rate qp 125 ppm, is doing so at a rate that may be expressed in a variety of volumetric units, including 125 micro liters per liter, 125 micro gallon per gallon, 125 cc per cubic meter, etc. In nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy In nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy NMR, chemical shift is usually expressed in ppm. It represents the difference of a measured frequency in parts per million from the reference frequency. The reference frequency depends on the instrument's magnetic field and the element being measured. It is usually expressed in MHz. 
Typical chemical shifts are rarely more than a few hundred Hz from the reference frequency, so chemical shifts are conveniently expressed in ppm hertz per megahertz. Parts per notation gives a dimensionless quantity that does not depend on the instrument's field strength. Topic: <laughs> Parts per expressions. One part per hundred is generally represented by the percent sign percent and denotes one part per one hundred parts, one part in one hundred two, and a value of one times ten minus two. This is equivalent to about fifteen minutes out of one day. One part per thousand should generally be spelled out in full and not as PPT, which is usually understood to represent parts per trillion. It may also be denoted by the per mil sign per mil. Note however, that specific disciplines such as oceanography, as well as educational exercises, do use the PPT abbreviation. One part per thousand denotes one part per one thousand parts, one part in one hundred three, and a value of one times ten minus three. This is equivalent to about one and a half minutes out of one day. One part per ten thousand is denoted by the permyriad sign. Although rarely used in science, ppm is typically used instead. One per myriad has an unambiguous value of one part per ten thousand parts, one part in one hundred four, and a value of one times ten minus four. This is equivalent to about nine seconds out of one day. In contrast, in finance, the basis point is typically used to denote changes in or differences between percentage interest rates. Although it can also be used in other cases where it is desirable to express quantities in hundredths of a percent. For instance, a change in an interest rate from 5.15% per annum to 5.35% per annum could be denoted as a change of 20 basis points per annum. As with interest rates, the words per annum or per year are often omitted. In that case, the basis point is a quantity with a dimension of time minus 1. One part per million ppm denotes one part per one million parts, one part in 106, one one millionth times 100%. or 1%. 10,000 ppm, and a value of 1 times 10 minus 6. This is equivalent to about 32 seconds out of a year. In distance measurement, it is equivalent to 1 mm of error per kilometer of distance traversed. 1 part per billion (ppb) denotes 1 part per 1 billion parts, 1 part in 109, 1 1 billionth times 100%. Topic: <laughs> Parts per trillion (0.0000001%) or 1%. 10 million ppb and a value of 1 times 10 minus 9 this is equivalent to about 3 seconds out of a century 1 part per trillion ppt denotes 1 part per 1 trillion parts 1 part in 1012 and a value of 1 times 10 minus 12 this is equivalent to about 30 seconds out of every million years 1 part per quadrillion PPQ denotes 1 part per 1 quadrillion parts, 1 part in 1015, and a value of 1 times 10 minus 15. This is equivalent to about two and a half minutes out of the age of the Earth 4.5 billion years. Although relatively uncommon in analytical chemistry, measurements at the PPQ level are sometimes performed. Criticism. <coughs> 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 Although the International Bureau of Weights and Measures an international standards organization known also by its French language initials BIPM recognizes the use of parts per notation, it is not formally part of the International System of Units SI. Note that although percent percent is not formally part of the SI, both the BIPM and the ISO take the position that in mathematical expressions, the internationally recognized symbol percent percent may be used with the SI to represent the number 0.01 for dimensionless quantities. According to IUPAP, a continued source of annoyance to unit purists has been the continued use of percent, PPM, PPB, and PPT. Although SI compliant expressions should be used as an alternative, the parts per notation remains nevertheless widely used in technical disciplines. The main problems with the parts per notation are the following. 
Topic: Long and short scales. Because the named numbers starting with a billion have different values in different countries, the BIPM suggests avoiding the use of PPB and PPT to prevent misunderstanding. The U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology takes the stringent position, stating that the language-dependent terms, are not acceptable for use with the SI to express the values of quantities. Thousand versus trillion Although, PPT usually means parts per trillion, it occasionally means parts per thousand. Unless the meaning of PPT is defined explicitly, it has to be determined from the context. <laughs> Mass fraction versus mole fraction versus volume fraction Another problem of the parts per notation is that it may refer to mass fraction, mole fraction or volume fraction. Since it is usually not stated which quantity is used, it is better to write the unit as kilogram per kilogram, mole per mole or cubic meter per cubic meter even though they are all dimensionless. The difference is quite significant when dealing with gases and it is very important to specify which quantity is being used. For example, the conversion factor between a mass fraction of 1 ppb and a mole fraction of 1 ppb is about 4.7 for the greenhouse gas CFC 11 in air. For volume fraction, the suffix v or v is sometimes appended to the parts per notation e.g., ppmv, ppbv, pptv. Unfortunately, PPBV and PPTV are also often used for mole fractions which is identical to volume fraction only for ideal gases. To distinguish the mass fraction from volume fraction or mole fraction, the letter W standing for weight is sometimes added to the abbreviation e.g., PPMW, PPBW. The usage of the parts per notation is generally quite fixed inside most specific branches of science, leading some researchers to draw the conclusion that their own usage mass, mass, mole per mole, volume, volume, or others is the only correct one. This, in turn, leads them to not specify their usage in their publications, and others may therefore misinterpret their results. For example, electrochemists often use volume, volume, while chemical engineers may use mass, mass as well as volume, volume. Many academic papers of otherwise excellent level fail to specify their usage of the parts per notation. SI compliant expressions. SI compliant units that can be used as alternatives are shown in the chart below. Expressions that the BIPM explicitly does not recognize as being suitable for denoting dimensionless quantities with the SI are shown in red text. Note that the notations in the SI units column above are all dimensionless quantities, that is, the units of measurement factor out in expressions like 1 nanometer per meter, 1 nanometer per meter. Topic one nano one times ten minus nine. So the quotients are pure number coefficients with values less than one. Topic uno. Because of the cumbersome nature of expressing certain dimensionless quantities per SI guidelines, the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics in 1999 proposed the adoption of the special name, UNO symbol, U, to represent the number one in dimensionless quantities. This symbol is not to be confused with the always italicized symbol for the variable, uncertainty symbol, U. This unit name, UNO and its symbol could be used in combination with the SI prefixes to express the values of dimensionless quantities that are much less or even greater than 1 common parts per notations in terms of the uno are given in the table below in 2004 a report to the international committee for weights and measures known also by its french language initials cipm stated that response to the proposal of the uno had been almost entirely negative and the principal proponent recommended dropping the idea. 
To date, the UNO has not been adopted by any standards organization and it appears unlikely it will ever become an officially sanctioned way to express low-value dimensionless quantities. The proposal was instructive, however, as to the perceived shortcomings of the current options for denoting dimensionless quantities. Improper applications Parts per notation may properly be used only to express true dimensionless quantities, that is, the units of measurement must cancel in expressions like, "...one milligram per kilogram", so that the quotients are pure numbers with values less than one. Mixed unit quantities such as, "...a radon concentration of 15 pci, L." are not dimensionless quantities and may not be expressed using any form of parts per notation, such as 15 ppt. Other examples of measures that are not dimensionless quantities are as follows Particulate matter in the air, 50 micrograms per cubic meter, not 50 ppb. A stepper motor – gear system that produces a motion of 1 micrometer – pulse, not 1 ppm Mercury vapor concentration in air, 0.6 ng per liter, not 0.6 ppt Note however, that it is not uncommon to express aqueous concentrations—particularly in drinking water reports intended for the general public—using parts per notation 2.1 ppm, 0.8 ppb, etc. and further, for those reports to state that the notations denote milligrams per liter or micrograms per liter. Although, 2.1 mg per liter is not a dimensionless quantity, it is assumed in scientific circles that 2.1 mg per kilogram 2.1 ppm is the true measure because one liter of water has a mass of about 1 kg. The goal in all technical writing including drinking water reports for the general public is to clearly communicate to the intended audience with minimal confusion. Drinking water is intuitively a volumetric quantity in the public's mind so measures of contamination expressed on a per liter basis are considered to be easier to grasp. Still, it is technically possible, for example, to «dissolve» more than one liter of a very hydrophilic chemical in one liter of water. Parts per notation would be confusing when describing its solubility in water greater than a million parts per million, so one would simply state the volume or mass that will dissolve into a liter, instead. When reporting air-borne rather than waterborne densities, a slightly different convention is used since air is approximately 1,000 times less dense than water. In water, 1 microgram per cubic meter is roughly equivalent to parts per trillion whereas in air, it is roughly equivalent to parts per billion. Note also, that in the case of air, this convention is much less accurate. Whereas one liter of water is almost exactly one kilogram, one cubic meter of air is often taken as 1.143 kilograms — much less accurate, but still close enough for many practical uses. See also <laughs> <laughs>